Good afternoon. I'm Brian Regan. This is Tyler Kelly. We welcome you to our midday meditation. Today we're in John chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Tyler. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This, came, this man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, You may be, must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. All right. So, question here, Tyler. Yeah. Back in Genesis chapter 1. Yes. The Holy Spirit's there. There's water covering the face of the earth. Yes. God gives the command for dry land to appear, and the Holy Spirit, as Job tells us, does his work of starting to adorn it. But where did the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, bring forth a new creation out of? That which he already created. Okay. You know, he separated the dry land from the seas, seas. Mm -hmm. and the dry land he called earth. Yeah. All right, Noah, mm -hmm. waters start to assuage. God sends a strong blank to dry out the face of the earth so that the new creation is habitable for Noah. Wind. Wind. Mm. Moses crossing the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 10 tells us they were baptized into Moses. So there's water. There's Moses, and there was a strong east wind. wind. And then you say, well, no, no, see, there's a pattern. Nicodemus should have caught it. Jesus makes the point. He says, how, how are you not getting this stuff, Nicodemus? You know, like serving in the wilderness. You know, this isn't that hard, Nicodemus. People today, oh, no, you just have to be born from above. Well, how are you born from above? Everything God does in the natural realm spiritually is connected to something natural he brought a new creation out of water in genesis 1 he brought a new creation through water he destroyed the old creation by water and he brought the new creation out of it but he had a wind or the spirit because the word for spirit breath and wind in hebrew just like in greek same word it's ruach in hebrew that's why Jesus says, the wind blows where it lists, the spirit goes where he wants. Jesus is making a play on that. And people, oh, you don't need to be born of water. Look, if you don't go down that water for the Holy Spirit to come and do his work on behalf of the Father, you can't be born from above. He's like, no, that's talking about birth water. See, that's, that's Nicodemus' point. Nicodemus is thinking that it's birth water. But Nicodemus thinks it's birth water before Jesus says you must be born of water and the spirit. You can be born of flesh and water, or you can be born of spirit and water. That's how you're born from above. Other thoughts on this one? No, sir. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good afternoon.